Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 9 with me, Mr. CDP. I'm in a mad dash to get as much. Well, I've got some trees cut down, but not as many as I wanted because we have got a great demand up here at the container yard for wood. It's gone up to 2,491. I'm interested to see what this is going to go for now. It should be over 70 grand. 84. Awesome. So I think I've got enough for probably another full container. And then I'm going to have to cut some more trees down. How long the Great Demand will last for? Who knows? I've never actually timed. I've never actually spent time. Are they all the same length of time, the Great Demands, or do they last different amounts of time? I'm trying to think. Does it say? It doesn't, does it? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Like I say, I'm going to keep going backwards and forwards with what I've got. I'll cut some more down if I can, and I'll get a load delivered. Uh, that was a nice big jump up, 462,000. Uh, I'm going to get the um, what's it called? <sighs> conveyor belt. I'm going to get the conveyor belt for the wood chip. Considering we're getting a bit of a bump in price, so might as well. And I'm also picking up on those lizard miners that came out the other day little six wheel vehicle that I'm, I'm going to use for all my offcuts. So rather than throwing them all on the floor like I'm doing at the moment, I'll have that and I'll throw all the offcuts into the back of that. Then I haven't got to worry about picking them up, loading them, that kind of, I'll just drive them straight up. It goes at 60 mile an hour. I think it's only, how much was it to buy? 20 grand? Was it that much? I'm sure it was 20 grand. So that's something I do. Uh, I will see you probably now into November. Um, we might even get a time lapse of some boatyard building type things. I've got another log transport contract for 17 grand has popped up. Um, I've taken the lorry over, but the skid steer loader, no, the telehandler, is at the moment being used. So I'll have to wait. While I've got the great demand, I'd rather do this than that. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to get another shipping container. Let's do that. Another tw 9 metre. I don't know why I keep changing the colour. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what should I go for this time? Let's go for a, a dusky red. No, I need to go and get the telehandler to load it up. How should I do? <laughs> do I buy my big wheel load that I was going to get? Get some forks and have it here for the time being. Shall I do it now? Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Am I? Or am I going to panic? I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Am I going to regret this? 304 grand. Safety frame? No. Yeah, safety beacon, not too bothered about that. Licence plate. Oh, design. Where's my beacon's gone? I'll go with that. So we're looking at 306 grand. Oh, I'm going to do it. Ooh, I've done it. I'm excited. Wheel loader. Let's go across to, we want the stuff for the... L180H, let's go with pallet forks. Uh, high tip bucket, I can do that as well, can't I? 10,000 litres. Maybe I should just do that rather than, oh no, I don't know. Uh, wide or small? Wide, definitely. Buy those for three grand. While I'm here, might as well do it. Let's go to miscellaneous and I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to leave it on that configuration. I wasn't going to go log configuration, but I can throw all of them in the back of that and still strap them down, I think. Um, I'm going to go with, I think, that. Yep. Might even leave the main colour as that. Or should I go with something that stands out, I guess, really, so I can see... Why? I don't know why. I have no idea why I've done that. 30 grand. Let's do it. I'm losing my mind, but yeah. 
<laughs> I love it. My sight gets up to 60 mile an hour. It's got straps, so I'll be able to put my logs in it. Take all my off cuts, and I'll put this to one side. Use that later on. Let's grab this. I've got one. Got look, Mum. I've got a big Volvo. Oh, I'm gonna do some damage with this. Not just to the shop front, but you know. Another step in the right direction. Actually, I need to bring that in a little bit. I think. Doesn't mean I can leave my telehandler on site if I want to, or switch them around over the telehandler here to put shipping containers on for the time being. And then have this for loading logs, I can get the log grapple for it, give that a go, and then I'll move up to the uh, the high lift at some point. Excellent. Right, like I say, I was I did say I'll see you later on and then carry on, didn't I? Let's get that open. These logs won't load themselves.
We are now into November and the um, great demand for lumber up at the container warehouse paid off nicely. I'm considering, and I said about moving or getting a new cabin where we're going to move further away. I might build a new cabin up on the hillside up there. Um, I haven't moved much further away. I have got my eye on a plot, but that's moving much further along, way off up in the uh, northwest. But I've been busy. As I always am, uh, we've got a load more to get done. I've got all sorts of plans bubbling away in my head of bits of equipment and things I want to buy. I'm going to talk about pros and cons of things we purchased earlier on. I say earlier on, yesterday. And I've started logging here. I've finished logging off down the hillside. We're going to go over there because I'm going to put some more sheep pens in. I need fabric faster, so I need more sheep. Now, I know I could wait a few months until I reproduce. I'd get bigger pens, let them reproduce, do that. I'm just going to buy more pens. The pens I bought were nice and cheap. I've got plenty of grass there. I can get my water. I'm just going to do that because it's a means to an end. I'm, I'm not rearing sheep. I'm just getting the sheep literally for the wool to make fabric. So it doesn't matter. So I've started logging here. The only reason I didn't take any of the lumber from here was I ran out of daylight. I, I did as much as I possibly could, delivered as much as I could and then started to run out of daylight. So we've got plenty to be doing here. So we're going to talk about some pros and cons. Um, like I say, got a few done here, cleared a bit of an area. I'm looking at potentially clearing this. I said this before, clearing this completely. Uh, we've got a lot of rock piles here. So I'm going to break up the rock piles. I'm thinking of sticking the rock through something to get lime. So we can always sell the lime. That is not waste of rock. There's quite a few rock piles as we go through here. Um, this is working perfectly. Absolutely brilliant, it's an absolute beast, no problem at all, apart from that weird thing with the header. Um, our new Volvo is an absolute beast. Now I used this, um, I said beast, it's a weapon. I used this for a couple of the log transport contracts. And unlike the telehandler where I've got the big weight on the back, this doesn't require a big weight, it's a big heavy vehicle. I've gone for the big bag handle on the front again, just for me, for speed, for convenience. I'm going to give it a go with one of the log grapples. Now, having that on the front, being it's a bigger vehicle, I can't pick up any more logs than I have been doing using the telehandler. It's the same bag handler. This is the wheel loader version. That one's the telehandler version. The only difference is this is a much weightier vehicle. doesn't require rear weights. Like I say, it's an absolute beast. There is a downside to that, which we'll talk about in a moment, but I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, this I thought would be absolutely awesome. I absolutely loved it. I still absolutely love it. But the con to this, the straps will only strap directly up vertically from where the strap points are. I'll explain what what I mean. I mean, if you see, if that seems obvious. Then that's great. I think we're going to sell it. This is a pity because I really like it. Um, so if I do the straps here, like that, if I put all my logs in and I strap them, it will only strap logs that are in line with here. So any logs that are over to this side, it's not strapping, it's not grabbing hold of them. I'm also finding, because I'm doing offcuts, it's all small bits and a lot of them, when I'm driving up to take them to the wood chipper, they're all jostling around. On two of the journeys I did yesterday, I had logs just fall out the back. The straps just aren't holding them down. It's all moving around too much. So much as I really, really wanted it to work and wanted it to work for what I was doing, it hasn't. And that's just the fact of the matter. It, you know, it, like I say, pros and cons. Um, you'll try something out, hope it works. If it does, brilliant. If it doesn't, all you can do is move forward. So we will be getting rid of that. But my plan moving forward will involve I'm going to switch my wood chipping process whilst I can do it at the North Sawmill and the North Sawmill does give you more wood chips than what you're wood chipping that's what it tells you and you I am getting way more than I would be I'm going to get a wood chipper to have down here and take around with me where I'm working so I can just throw my offcuts in through the wood chipper but there's going to be a bit of a bonus to that as far as we've got a load of stuff to go and collect in a minute I'm going to bring down the prefabricated walls and I'm going to deliver them here. Now, I'm going to stand about here because our 
process, I know this is going to take three years for this whole thing to be built. I've been bringing stuff as stuff has been coming up. I bought some floor tiles here, one pallet from yesterday. I've got another two pallets, but they're going to go to the boatyard. I'm going to show you a picture now. A picture is going to pop up of what this looked like yesterday. Now, that was also a change from the day before. Look at what it looks like now. And this is what it looked like yesterday. So, progress. However small, it's still progress. We are getting somewhere, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, the other downside to the big wheel loader. I have found I've still been defaulting back to the telehandler for doing log transport contracts. Simply because if I hook this onto the back of here, as you've probably already seen me do a few times now, just drive up behind with the bag handler, strap it to the deck here, and I can drive the whole rig with that out to where I'm going, load up, drive the whole lot back. And it works perfectly. I can do it with the big wheel loader, but the wheel loader is so heavy, such a big vehicle, this really struggles to pull it. I think I've got up to a maximum of 10 miles an hour, 10 or 12 it just it was so much weight on it it just didn't want to pull it and once i was loaded with logs and the wheel loader attached to the back it just didn't want to know so i'm kind of defaulting to this so the wheel loader will remain wherever i'm doing my logging because it's working brilliantly for loading logs all that kind of stuff absolutely awesome or of course my other option is i don't have to take everything up in one go i can drive one up and then drive the other up or drive one up and have a low loader that takes the other one up I, you know I just did this out of convenience because when I end up buying the large um, the L200 high lift, which is what I'm aiming to do, um, that uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to pull that behind. So that will have to go up separately. That's kind of where I'm at. That's what I'm looking at at the moment. We're going to go and grab some of our stuff up from the North Sawmill. We're going to take some to the boatyard and then we're going to take some to the sawmill. I'm going to back out of here so we can sell that. Now, as far as buying things goes, I'm not going to buy anything now. That's not so I'm not going to buy anything. I think next episode, probably, because I've got a few things I need to do now, a few things to deliver, get some more sheep, get some more grass cut, get them fed. That's my plan. I do need to get another shipping container to start loading up logs. Actually, I need to check the price. What's the price looking like for our wood at the moment? Like I said, we had the great demand yesterday, and that was amazing. Oh, it's still there. How have we still got great demand? That's gone up. It was 2.5 yesterday, it's 2.6 now. So there was me, so I, I, it got so dark, I thought I've stopped now, and overnight the great demand will go. It's still there. So um, I should still be getting 80, anywhere between 83, 85, 87 grand for a shipping container load. Um, so what we'll do is we'll deliver all the stuff we need to deliver. Now I'm panicking that that's going to go. It becomes obsessive and then... I'm finding I'm not doing other jobs because I'm, I just want to get as much lumber delivered as I can. And that's a bit bonkers, really, isn't it? So, well, it's, not, it's just it's what I do, isn't it? 25,743. What did I pay for? I can't what I paid for it in the end. Um, okay. I'm gutted about that. It was that thing, it was like, what a pair, what a, what a fantastic pairing. That big wheel loader and the little lizard miner and together doing all my logging it was going to work out brilliantly it just didn't work out that way it's unfortunate but what are you going to do so it's going to be a few trips i've got two pallets of um, flooring here that are ready to go i've probably got some more staircase railing which i can go and collect i'll probably grab these with the wheel loader uh, the, sorry the telehandler and just take them back quite quickly um, they're going to go to the boatyard because I delivered one pallet of flooring to the roller coaster yesterday. Yesterday evening before I went to bed. And I'll bring down what I need to to the boatyard. I'm trying to work out what to do for a split on this. I think what I might do, I'm still going to deliver some to the roller coaster just to keep that going. I want to get at least one boat built. Moving forward, I'd like to do multiple, but I want to get one boat built and I want to get that done as sort of as quickly as possible. So I'm going to probably split it either two thirds, one third, or three quarters, one quarter. Depends how many pallets I've got up here. Um, if it's three, I'll do thirds. If it's four, I'll do it in quarters. It, we'll see how this pans out. I think I've still got plenty of lumber up here. 
any extras what I've been doing now is the six meters rather than cutting them six meters any off cut I've just been letting them yeah 70,999 litres up here any off cuts left when I've done my nine meter log cutting for the work for the containers I'm just leaving them whatever length they are if they're six meters 6.5 7.6 whatever they are and then all of those are coming up here so all of that stuff's come up here so I'm not getting as many small off cuts as I was getting before but that's fine that's not too much of a problem so how are we looking we've got four prefab wall panels now then we'll go to the roller coaster we have got so long planks one two three four okay so three will go to the ship build the boat building one will go to the roller coaster three of wood beams okay so we'll leave those there and what i'll do is i'll load up these and they'll go to the boat building and then planks how are we looking on plank oh okay wow that's pretty impressive seven i suppose i could split it three and four maybe two and five don't know then i'll come back for those so well, yeah we'll do a load to the boatyard then we'll do a load to the uh, roller coaster just to keep them all running so let's move this up out of the way sorry sorry old chap We'll load that all up and then we'll get that going. That said, if we get down to the sheep, we'll get them going with some more. I think I'll buy another two. I've got enough money, I'm going to buy another two pastures, I think. Fill them with sheep, get the grass in, get the water in. Um, I haven't got a huge amount of wool so far. I was hoping I would have more. Um, it's not in the well, but that's how I was just hoping I would. And, oh yeah, I did buy yesterday, because I was doing so well with the... Um, the great demand I did buy the second conveyor belt so that's over there and any wood chips that go through that now I can just honk them up I'm not saying I'm not going to bring any more wood chips up here I'm just saying for, for a little while the piece of equipment I want to get I'm, I'm, I haven't decided whether I'm going to buy or lease yet I think I'm, I was intending to buy it it's a good lease it also looking at whether or not to buy any more of the production chain the, the problem I've got at the moment I say the problem it's that thing again that because I want to get the boat built and I want the roller coaster to continue sort of underway everything that's being processed here I'm using and if I buy any other production chains that require long planks wood beams or planks I don't want to divert resources away from the boat building and the roller coaster to build wooden bowls or to build um, easels or barrels because I want to get those done once those are done then maybe I will but as far as it stands at the moment I'd rather yeah rather get those built first then turn my attention to doing some other production chains one thing I'm a little bit disappointed is the wrong word um frustration I suppose there's an element of frustration because I want these processes to be quicker now I do have the option if I go to the south sawmill of buying any of these they're not cheap but I can buy them if I wanted to the south sawmill will provide them because they're producing the same things we are um, they can provide them if we want what I was really hoping and it, obviously it's not the case if we go in and we look at all the production chains that are available I can buy pretty much all the production chains so I could stick in another one if I want to get more floor tiles going, more staircase railings going. I can build another wood turner. I was thinking of doing that in, in the bit of land that I'm, uh, that I'm uh, cutting now. The plot I'm doing now. Um, and I can do the same with the flooring. I can put in another flooring factory. What I can't do, which they don't have, is another sawmill. Now there are loads and loads of sawmill mods but those sawmill mods will do just do planks and I know the Zod and Zod ones will do beams but those beams I don't know if see, something I suppose I could test I don't know if those beams will be compatible with what I'm doing here and the problem is there's not um, is that too high? I don't know. 
yeah, there's there's not an option to build another sawmill. So I thought that's the, that's the, going to be the easiest way I can speed all my productions up. I could even build another iron, um, uh, iron furnace if I want to. I could build another iron furnace and um, we could get more metal going. But in all honesty, I haven't uh, gone and collected any metal from there for the last day or two. So half a month to a month. Um, I just haven't needed to yet. I am going to do a big load from there. And again, just stock up the roller coaster. I've got to be careful because the roller coaster is a one-shot deal. Once it's built, it's built. I don't want to deliver too many resources there. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm being paid. When I delivered resources to the roller coaster, I'm still being paid for them. And the roller coaster is being built, so it's not the end of the world if I deliver too many. But once it's built, that's it. Whereas the boat building, I can continue quite happily. So, planks will go on next. We'll get these down. And then I'll come back and I'll do a roller coaster, a roller coaster run. I'm just really curious to see, and I'll show you where we're at. I did the little uh, time lapse of the boat build through till whatever time it was this morning. I can't remember what time it was. Um, and it looks like the wood that was put on fresh has now been kind of varnished, stained, prepared. because it's going to have a meltdown. It might have a meltdown. So we've just got to be careful now. I did this before, didn't I? And it had a meltdown. Oh no, we're alright. That's cool. What's I tried to lift? It might have been the beams and stuff. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, just trying to explain everything that's going on, what's been happening, what my kind of thoughts are. I might be able to get more on here, you know. Let's be bringing down because the um, I don't think it's a liquid pan the uh, wall panels actually. The prefabs that was before I became fabulous. When you're prefab, that's, <laughs> that's prefabulous. I don't know what it's like, I think it ever been fabulous. Will this lift? It will, okay. Yeah, the boatyard won't take these, so I can load some on. Because I can unload the boatyard and then take these straight through to the roller coaster. And just make sure I've got some stock in, whoa, in place. Still thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying all this. My kind of um, oh, that was something. Was, oh, I was going to show you when we get over to do the sheep um, stump grinding. I didn't show myself doing the stump grinding. It was one of those. I did it using the Volvo uh, and the Devourer. Now I know the Devourer can wood chip as well. I haven't been doing any wood chipping with it. I've just been using it as a stump grinder because I find it a very effective means of removing stumps. Um, the whole hillside round behind my grass field where the sheep are I honestly didn't realise how many trees I've cut down now will probably be a good time to have a look at that because ok oh that's not so good kind of missed with both of those I'm sure it'll hold in place yeah um, where were we at before we were at 50 something hours no what were we at oh, where was we at Right, load those up later. And trees cut down, we were 200 and something, weren't we? I can't remember now, because I said if I used one of those um, pallets, I'd be able to do it. So how are we looking? Time played, 62 hours. Now we're 39, I can't remember now. Trees cut down, 364. Okay. Forestry missions completed, that's transport. Well, that would be actually probably included in a couple of the other ones I've done as well. 37. So, we have been busy. I will see you down at the boatyard. 
momentarily and we can have a look at the progress of the boat building then we'll deliver the prefab wall sections I'll sort out the sheep get them fed and then what I'll do is uh, I'll start cutting some more trees down oh yeah I need to get another shipping container load up another load of nine meter logs and get those up here um, I'm just thinking the two things I wanted to buy if I did some more at a good price I could probably get them both it would leave me pretty much skint I did also think because of the money I've made at the moment when I was saying the other day about getting the Hannibal oh, the Hannibal's three quarters of a million uh, you know that's way off I'm not that far off it now I could but I'm not sure if I want it oh yeah I want to get a cable yard though. that's something I want to do but again I haven't got to a point yet where I'm on such a steep gradient that I I say I need to use it at the end of the day it's not always about needing anything you know a lot of what I'm doing is I'm buying stuff and doing stuff because I want to because I want to enjoy what I'm doing because I want to play the game and utilize a load of stuff that um that's new you know oh that was the other thing I said I'll see you down there I'm carrying on talking um the, the game hasn't had an update has it right I don't recall the game about updating uh, over the last 24 hours or so and then now I'm second guessing myself thinking was this always there or am I going insane I know probably what the answer to that question is but yesterday and I talked about this earlier or was it on my mod review yesterday the year two season pass became available and I did a video on it look on the billboard that hasn't always been on there has it and if that hasn't always been on there and the game hasn't had an update how how has that changed surely or did I just not notice it no couldn't have done because it would if that had been on there since this released it wouldn't be saying now available because it wouldn't it wasn't now available so yeah I'm baffled maybe it did have a little secret surreptitious update that we weren't aware of sneaky sneaky right so boatyard I was like I say um, I'm curious to see how you know, what, what comes next with the boat building I'm enjoying it so far and it looks brilliant I know loads of people like I say I keep saying every episode because I've had people mostly going oh I've already done that okay I know it's, you know I haven't, but I'm doing it like this, so, you know, <laughs> I'm very happy for you, you and your boat. Look at that! That's so cool. So, we do need, uh, we've got plenty of planks, planks long, we're still short a little bit, and wood beams, we're short a little bit. Not a huge amount. Metal, we're good. Floor tiles is what we're short of. 5,200 litres are required and I haven't got any so I think I've only got two pallets over there so I need only two that's why I'm thinking maybe building another floor tile factory let's have a look at our productions and let's see what we can do here how expensive is it uh, where are we oh, it's back that way wasn't it Barrel furniture. Flooring, there we go. Oh, it's 110 grand. Well, I can afford it, but... Planks and planks long. I mean, if I just get a load of planks... Oh, I could do a deal with the uh, the guys at the sawmill and get a load of planks. That's a bit do dodgy, isn't it? But, um, considering what I've just bought down, I've got more planks than I know what to do with at the moment, coming from the top sawmill. So maybe I clear that area where I've got where I'm doing my lumber now. I put in another flooring factory because I, I need flooring, and it's it's a fairly slow process at the moment. That. So what we'll do, we're going to go left first rather than coming back on ourselves. I've got more logging I can do around the side of the pond here, the lake here, and I can put myself a little track in down to the lake, so I can get my. Uh, because I own this, I own this land now. 
also what I was going to say was, yeah, we're um, looking at the moment only about 300 and something litres, I think we're at. 377. They need water, they need food. Not a huge amount. So, am I going to put another one there? Would it fit? And then another one over there, maybe. Okay, let's see. Yep, that one in there perfectly. Just put it to a slight angle. We're good to go. I'll do a little bit more landscaping around. It's weird the tracks went in at very weird angles. I need to probably make that a dirt track rather than the forest ground maybe. Put some earth texture down there. I'll have a bit of a fit around in the landscaping. See how we go. So what we need to do is I'm going to go for more of the same. Let's fill it. And then went for the black ones there. I'll put another one over here. We've got plenty of grass. We'll do that. So, Black Welsh Mountain, 30 by. Right, let's crack on. Yeah, so what I was going to do was... Still a bit more water in it. Um, through here, put myself a little trackway, probably. Cut a couple of trees out. So I can come straight down to the water here. makes sense then I can just drive backwards and forwards through here rather than having to go say all the way out and round like it's miles to go I'm in a tractor it's not like it's a mega problem is it but I'm going to top these up first and then uh, I'm going to cut some grass there we go make sure my little fabric machines are uh Good to go. How much am I going to need? Let's see this one. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more. Right. I'll get some more water and I will see you once I start mowing then we'll get the grass and I'm going to probably put a load more I'll cut a load more grass this time rather than just exactly what I need and then um, I, well, I suppose the whole point is cutting what you need I don't really want it sitting for days and days not that it makes any difference obviously with the seasons we have an FS19 from Realistic Modding because your, gra your grass and stuff would rot if you left it out and if it rained, it would disappear and stuff like that. It was more of an issue. But obviously now I could leave it in the trailer and it won't make any difference. Yeah, a little, have a little land in here. That would yeah, be quite cool. I suppose I could even put my cabin here by the side of this lake. This is a lovely one, isn't it? Mind you, I suppose now I'm constantly looking at the roller coaster. <laughs> not, that, not that's a problem, but... Ooh, that's heavy. Come on, Bobo. You can do it. Yeah, maybe they'd get the old uh, stump grinder thing out as well, get rid of a few of these trees. Cut down what I can use for lumber and then some of the smaller ones just to uh, remove. while I'm cutting my way back across the other side. I don't know if anyone else has noticed. I know someone messaged me the other day and asked me the question, said they were really struggling where they'd cleared a load of trees. They can't cut the grass. If you've got this grass, and I think it's the paintable one as well, you can cut it, the meadow grass. This grass that's off to the side, you can't. 
but I'm pretty sure. Actually, let's give it a go. You know, this is if anything, it's <laughs> it's always every day is a teaching learning day. So the platinum expansion meadow grass, because I own this ground here, I can paint some on. Right, so the grass that's there at the moment, I can't cut, it won't let me. Didn't really want to be painting that one, but it's alright. Um, so it won't let me cut any of this. But if you paint meadow grass over it, I think you can. We'll double check that. Um, so yeah, this entire hillside, all of this that I own, as you can see, all the bigger trees are all gone. I've left all the smaller ones, all the dead stands and all that. I've left it all there. Some of the bigger ones I've left over there, not massive ones. And then I went through and, and did all the stump grinding and it took absolutely ages. But we have got a ton of rock here as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is when I do my rock clearing, going to this entire hillside, clearing all the rock out as well, making that into lime, which I can sell. Um, and then we'll replant. I want to plant around this entire curve here, all the way around, which I think would be quite cool. That's, that's my plan. Let's say I've got an idea in my head. So what we'll do now is we'll go across this bit here, which it won't let me cut, but it should let me cut the meadow grass. We just planted. Planted, placed. Yeah. So if you've got any of these areas like this and, and you're not able to cut the grass, the only real way around that is to either plough it up and, and plant grass and let it grow, or paint on the meadow grass. And you'll know it's the meadow grass because it's got the little flowers and stuff in it. And then you can cut it. Um, it's not the cheapest way of going about doing things, but it is doable if you want to. So I'm going to head back round. By the time I get back, back round, we should have enough for topping up the two... Little, oh, I missed a stump there, but... Cutting the grass always highlights some sticks. And then um, you know, we'll take those prefab wall sections, we'll load up a shipping container. And it should be good. Let's feed them. I mean, even doubling what I've got. So now we've got, what, uh, 120? 120 sheep. Um, it's not as prolific production as I thought it might be. But that's not horrendous. I'm just trying to think, actually, what are they looking at productivity-wise? Yes, they're at 100% productivity now. So are they. Obviously, they're on zero. Maybe it's because they hadn't reached 100% productivity initially. I say my, my little brain is already... It's that kind of thing of, I know I'm not... But I'm not I don't need to worry about the reproduction. They're full, I'm just going to, you know... But then I'm thinking, yeah, but it's such a waste. If they reproduced, but they can't, they're full. I, we won't allow them to. I've got enough to fill them up, and then we'll be good. So that's all the new sheep sorted. And then what I'll do once I've got at least over a thousand litres combined from them, I will um, I'll stick some in. And we'll get it into the um, spinnery that we we placed, and we can get some uh, get some fabric underway. Actually, I'll only do it when I need it. I would say it's funny how your mind works, isn't it? That, you know, I'm thinking, like, for the, you know, for the sake of realism, I don't want that all sitting in there. And you think I'm not playing ultra realistic, not even close to ultra realistic. You know, I'm using the big bag handlers for grabs instead of log grabs, and there's a whole load of stuff I do and now I am doing that isn't realistic. Yet there are certain things you do, and your brain says, "Oh, yeah, but if you left that in there, or if you did that, if you did that, that wouldn't be realistic, would it?" <laughs> nope. 
Never mind. Right. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I'm in a rather a chatty mood today. I'm feeling very, very upbeat, very chipper. I don't know why. The next couple of weeks are going to be a little bit... I say a little bit weird. I suppose it's the right to Christmas now, isn't it? Everything's gone a little bit mad. I know all our decorations are up and, you know, it's um, feeling a bit more festive. Uh, this weekend I'm going out for dinner with my lovely wife on Saturday night. Uh, and then next weekend we're going to a wedding, which I haven't been to a wedding in years. Um, up in the Lake District, so we get to go to our favourite place. And we're going to a wedding. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. But I'm going to be away from Friday through to Monday. Uh, I, I'll try and back up some videos if I can. It's not going to be that straightforward. And I'm not going to be taking my PlayStation away with me. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. I've got another two of those sections to collect and deliver. So, yeah, it's, it's all sitting there. Prefab wall in storage it's not required yet for the next step but i might as well while i'm doing deliveries uh, so the rest of the stuff that's up there i'll bring back and that will go to the roller coaster uh, but i do need to deliver the floor tiles oh that was what i was going to do wasn't it um shipping container so we'll back that up i'll oh, load the shipping container on oh that's around the long way isn't it Again, it's just my own sanitary. I'd rather turn the pickup round and load the shipping container straight on rather than uh, have to turn the shipping container around, which would be a little bit tricky. So, shipping container. Let's go. We want a nine metre. Let's go yellow this time. No particular reason why. Uh, buy that. Grab this, I'll load the shipping container on, I'll go and grab those floor tiles and take those over to the boatyard, so that can continue building, and then we'll load up some logs. I've got another two log transport missions available that I've taken on, so I'll do those again, that'll be an off-camera job. I suppose that you know the the, the um, comment or question could be raised that I'm now four sheet pens in, and obviously with placeable sheet pens you can only have a certain amount, or placeable pens you can only have a certain amount anyway. Um, would it not have made more sense to find a really large sheet pen um, that will take all of them? And the answer to that is yes. Essentially. Uh, so what I think I will do is we'll get whatever they produce now. I'll have a look and see what's available. I don't want to like I guess, I don't want to be spending three, four, five hundred thousand on a sheet pen. I want to, you know, the reason I bought those was because they were really cheap. When we were starting out, I needed the wool. And I didn't want to spend a fortune. Where am I going? Just going to get the stair, uh, the uh, flooring. We're completely the wrong way. Oh, that was a good time. <laughs> So yeah, I might have a look and see if I can find one that's got a really large capacity and isn't a really particularly expensive, then it will give me a little bit of um, room for growth. And then what I'll do is I'll get a, a livestock transport trailer and I can take them all out of there and place them into one maybe. So it is an option, I can do that. If I do that, I might well keep that grass field for, um, for grass then put the pen elsewhere but again okay, I don't know that's that's off in the distance oh, why is it why is it niggling at me so much that I'm losing out on that I've, I've already said twice a day, a day. you know I'm saying one thing it doesn't matter it's fine it's okay but then it, my mind's going oh, but it does though it does a little bit Let's do this. Let's use the beast.
the lighting was brilliant it's very stable as well I found doing a lot of that logging when I was doing stuff up on that hillside where we just were over by the sheep it just no problem at all absolutely no problem at all So I have noticed as well, so what I, what I did notice when I was doing some in cab work, I was trying to do some in cab work, I suppose that bag handle at the front is very narrow, as are, well, as is the front lift section when you look at it from in cab, it just seems to go off perspective, right off, <laughs> it just narrows right off, but um, yeah, I've, I've, that's, I've never been a particular fan of first person, but I was looking at the new um, PS VR 2 is coming out at some point soon. It's not going to be cheap, but the VR headset is a 4K OLED. <laughs> that's insane for a VR headset. I was looking at it thinking, that's better than my telly. Still. But I, my original VR, oh man, I absolutely love that. The hours spent. CDG doing racing. Racing especially I found was the most just so immersive. And I, I always said when I used to chat to the guys at Giants and when we were doing the FSL saying about you know, things that they always say, you know, what what would you li like to see, you know, if you had a wish for the future, kind of what, what would you like to see? I said VR, absolutely. Or at least a VR level or a VR map or, you know, so you get that fully immersive feel. That was quick. <laughs> You know, fully immersive, and, and you can really judge depth and distance, and because you can turn your head, you can see a lot more. I know um, JCB, when we were at Agrotechnica, had a whole sort of rig thing set up, and I know you can get the ones with multiple screens and stuff, which also make you feel like you're absolutely right in there. But yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. Anyway, yeah, I digress. Let's take this up and sell this. And uh, next episode, hmm... We'll see what we get for this. I think I've got enough to maybe I don't know if I've got enough to fill a whole one, possibly. And then I think next episode will be either a new log cabin, maybe another plot of land, possibly, well, definitely, a new vehicle. If not, do I might even decide. You know what? Let's just go with, go for it and get the L200 high lift. I want one, and if I can afford it. Why not? The big difference when you're doing the logging compared to when you're doing regular farming is your regular farming stuff because you need so much varied equipment. Um, I'll also have a look at the cable yard. We'll see what we can afford to get. I don't want to do it all in one go, like one episode, buy everything. Um, I want to buy some stuff, use it, and like, again, gauge whether or not it's worthwhile having, using. I want to be, at, like I said, at that point where I can have a load of stuff up here, buy the land maybe up here around the sawmill too, so you can run the sawmill up here as a kind of a, a more a going concern and have vehicles you can leave up here and vehicles you can take out around the map. At the moment, I've got what I need for moving around, but it would be pretty cool to have like a fleet of vehicles if I end up with two L200s and a couple of wheel loaders and, you know... I might, well, I do, I do want to actually, I want to get a Volvo lorry as well. Give one of those a go. I can probably afford to do that now, actually. Let's see what I get for this. It's going to be in the 80s, isn't it? Uh, has the price dropped again? Has the great demand ended? No. 2000, I was getting 83 to 86. The lumber in there must have been shockingly bad. Um, but anyway, still... Still 80 grand, isn't it? I'm going to load up another one and we'll get sorted. Um, that's it for this episode. I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go back empty-handed. Empty-headed, possibly, but not empty-handed. Don't get stuck on here, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Um, I'm going to load up these bits and take them to the roller coaster on the way back down. Then I'll get another shipping container, load up and get it all done. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.